Hey guys, it's Kaylee. If you don't know me already, I have a white tree frog named Pickle. This video is five things you should know before getting a frog. Number one is that you always need to be wearing gloves. Our hands produce natural oils that can be toxic to frogs. I see lots of YouTubers and lots of TikTokers who do not wear gloves and they say that it's not important because dumpy tree frogs are known as being very hardy, so it can still hurt them even though they are pretty hardy. You can literally get gloves anywhere. You can buy them from Amazon, you can buy them from pet stores. You can find them at like hospitals and stuff. Well, don't I, steal from a hospital. Don't steal from a hospital. <laughs> uh, but I have a box of 100. Make sure they have uh, no powder and they're not sterile. So the only reason you should hold a frog without gloves is in case of emergencies. Like if they jump away, you can just grab, put it in the tank, Number two, diet. A frog's diet usually consists of crickets, mealworms, superworms, a lot of worms. Um, they can eat roaches. There's honest, there's a wide variety of foods they can eat, so you'll ha you can do some research on that. But personally, my frog will not eat worms. I have no idea why. He's just picky like that but he loves crickets. You should only be feeding them about every two to three days. And when you do feed them, feed them as much as they can eat in 15 minutes. But only feeding them every, every two to three days only applies to adult frogs. Juveniles and babies need to be fed every day. Something that is required is calcium powder with vitamin D in it. Um, you have to get this and then coat your worms or your crickets in it so that your frog does not get a bone disease. Number three is you have to change their water bowls daily. Do not skip out on changing your water bowls because they can get a bacterial infection because they like to poop and pee it and like if you are if you have dirt in your tank they will put dirt into it you should probably have like two water bowls in there number four page i have a 12 by 12 by 18 tall cage also known as a 10 gallon tank and it, uh, to be honest it's too small that's really the minimum that you should have for juveniles and babies. I have an adult frog and the minimum for an adult frog is a 12 by 12 by 24 cage. So I am currently planning on upgrading in the future. Make sure you have um, lots of plants, fake or real, it doesn't really matter, and places to climb because tree frogs, they live in the trees, so. Number five, humidity and temperature levels. Humidity in your cage should be anywhere around 40% to, 40 to 80%. One of the reasons dumpy tree frogs are a very great pet is because they, they can survive a wider range of like humidity levels and temperatures levels. And at night, your cage should be 70 to 75 degrees. Um, at night and at, uh, during the day it should be 75 to 80 degrees. To be able to keep humidity levels up you should get some moss. Um, also make sure you spray the cage around four to six times a day to make sure they don't dry out. Make sure you spray the cage and the frog to make sure again they don't dry out. That's about it. I will make a part two one day. One day. Not, I'm not saying anytime soon, but one day. Pickle says goodbye.